good day! For today's lesson in general mathematics, we shall learn how to evaluate functions. So what do we mean when we say evaluate? It simply means solving for the numerical value of each given function. Now, how do we evaluate functions? First, we substitute the given numerical value for the given variables, then we simplify the resulting expression. Find f of 4. If f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 10, we first need to substitute all the x's with a given numerical value, which in this case is 4. f of 4 equals 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 10. 4 squared is 16. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, then minus 10. Let us further simplify our answer. Since 16 plus 8 is 24 subtracted by 10, it is now equal to 14. Thus, the numerical value of the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 10 at f of 4 is 14. Given the function f of x equals x minus 6, find f of 3 and f of 30. Start by solving for a. Substitute x with 3, so it's 3 minus 6, which is negative 3. For finding f of 30, it's 30 reduced by 6, which the difference is 24. It's easy, right? Let us now try to have a fraction as our given numerical value. Find f of negative. If f of x equals 3x squared plus 5x plus 7. Let us first substitute all x's with negative. 3 times negative squared plus 5 times negative plus 7. Negative squared is 1 to 9th. So it's 3 times. Now 5 times negative is negative and plus 7. 3 multiplied by is, it is now minus plus 7. Simplify and it becomes, we now have minus plus 7. So, negative plus 7, 7 times the denominator, 3, added to the numerator, negative 4. We now have our final answer, which is, it's quite easy. You just have to be careful and pay close attention especially with the signs, whether it should be positive or a negative sign. Find f of 24. If f of x is equal to 2x plus 4, 2 times 24 plus 4, we then multiply 2 to 24. We then get 48 plus 4. So, the numerical value of the function is 52. Given the function f of x equals x squared plus 2 over x plus 4, find f of 5. f of 5 equals 5 squared plus 2 over 5 plus 4. So, 25 plus 2 over 9. It becomes 27 over 9. Simplify and we have our answer 3. For our sixth and last example, Let's find f of 7 if f of x equals square root of x squared minus 2. Again, we substitute x with 7 since it's our given numerical value, so it becomes a square root of 7 squared minus 2. 7 squared is 49 subtracted by 2, so our answer becomes a square root of 47. To summarize the lesson, we just have to substitute the x's with the given numerical value and simplify the answer. Be careful with the signs. Evaluate the functions carefully and review your solutions in order for you to be sure you got the right answer. That is all for today. Stay safe and God bless you all.